Now to our top story tonight. Two children treated for hypothermia after an icy rescue in Westchester. Good evening, I'm Cherie Palello. And thanks for joining us on this Friday. I'm Mike Dardis, WLWT News 5's Emily Wood, live at Children's Hospital's Liberty Campus, where those kids were taken. And Emily, how's this, uh, how did it get started? How did it happen? Mike and Cherie, the Westchester Fire Department says these two brothers, age, ages 10 and 12, they were out in the neighborhood walking their dog, the family dog, a Labradoodle named Duke, when they somehow lost control of his leash. They were near the pond at the time, and then all three somehow fell in. The Westchester Fire Department shared this photograph with us of the water rescue at Holly Hill Lane in the Cherry Lane Farm subdivision. Once the scene was cleared, you can see the broken ice from crews chipping away at the frozen pond. The fire department says both boys were out of the water when rescue crews arrived and were transported to the hospital with moderate hypothermia. The dog, a Labradoodle named Duke, needed a little more help. He was maybe 10 feet offshore and they created a path through the ice and once he got close enough, they were able to snag the dog's collar with the pike pole, pull it up on the ice and got him out of the water. Captain Kelly Mayer says crews had Duke out of the water in about 15 minutes. And anytime there is a call involving children, the response always becomes more intense. Whenever we go on a call involving a child, uh, things, things are a little more dramatic. Um, but, you know, we buckle down, we, we do our job. Um, and that's, that's basically what we did today. Uh, so it's, it's hard to hard to quantify emotion. The Westchester Fire Department says after Duke was pulled out of the pond, he was reunited with the boys and the boys' parents. The family came here, of course, for treatment for those boys' moderate hypothermia. And the fire department telling me tonight they were expected to be released tonight. Reporting live in Liberty Township, Emily Wood, WLWT News 5. All right, great news there. Those kids are going to be okay. New